Welcome to Rebel Squadron. The Empire is spreading terror across the galaxy, and we need your help to break its iron grip. It is time to bring the pain, recruit. Welcome to Noob Camp, Recruit. Here we will break you down and build you back up into a mean, lean, empire-crushing rebel machine. Now drop and give me 20. Front, back, go! Now get up from the dirt and let's get to work. <laughs> Alright, Recruit. So, maybe you're new to the game, maybe you've been playing for a while. Uh, this, new, this Noob Camp will hopefully give you some helpful pointers especially if you're new and hopefully get you moving in the right direction so this game is comprised of uh, two main uh, player bases uh, the casual versus the non-casual for the first three years I was very casual and then over the last year I've really started to you know get pretty serious about the game and everything uh, it's, it's a lot of fun and there's a lot of variability with it so let's get started here and time for noob camp so recently I did start a new free-to-play account uh, just for I was you know caught up in all my daily stuff with my main account and got pretty bored so I figured why not and I forgot how much of a grind it was before hitting 85 uh, so my condolences to all of the noobs out there <laughs> it's uh just hang in there it, uh, it does get better uh, there's basically two parts of the game before 85 and after 85 uh, there's, a, there's a lot going on in the end game so you know before that you're it's all you're building up for that and yeah just just hang in there it's it <laughs> Just keep grinding. So when you're when you're especially when you're first starting off uh, and you're building your account, you really want to maximize your resources. Um, they're they can be difficult to come by at times, and yeah, if, especially if you're looking to get to 85 as quick as possible and to build a really good team and you know really good roster. Uh, you want to yeah you're definitely going to want to be as efficient as possible. My suggestion would be uh, don't spend crystals on like the card packs and whatnot. Like if you go into the store, you can see there's all kinds of different stuff going on. Um, unless you're willing to spend money, I just I wouldn't do it. It's it's a lot of <laughs> it's a, you're you're rolling dice whenever most of the time you're rolling dice when you're buying something. There aren't a whole lot of packs where it tells you exactly what you're going to get and where it's going to be worth it. So, um, what I would use my crystals on would be stuff like campaign energy. Uh, you, know, you got your light and dark side battles. You got your cantina battles. You're going to have your fleet battles. Uh, you know, once you actually get your your capital ship and other ships unlocked. So I would definitely probably save my crystals for that kind of thing because uh, you're gonna get all kinds of like you know character shards and gear and whatnot and that's what you're really gonna want to focus on uh, especially when you're building up and I would not suggest using your crystals on gear components until you get to those higher levels and you're hitting like the you know right around gear 12 or so uh, the, a lot of the gear you can get through grinding and whatnot. There are certain pieces of gear that you can only get through like guild raids 
and they're very difficult to get. So I, I, if you're going to spend crystals on gear, I would definitely wait until you get to those higher levels before before purchasing gear with your crystals. And yeah, depending on how serious you are about getting competitive, such as in the Grand Arena, uh, Grand Arena is based on your overall galactic power or GP. And the m more characters you unlock and gear up and level up, the higher your GP, the higher that your GP is going to be, and that's going to push you into higher divisions against tougher opponents. So if you're not spending your resources wisely on uh, characters and gear and whatnot, uh, you're going to have an overinflated uh, GP. And it's going to push you into a higher bracket, and that's going to make your battles way more difficult than they need to be. So, unless you know, already know exactly what characters you want and what you're going to need for them, uh, I'd focus on just, you know, specific characters to gear up and level. Uh, just, you know, don't, don't do too much of a shotgun approach. Now, if you're playing just for fun, have at it. Do what you want to do with it. Work on the characters you want to work on. Yeah, I mean, that's the most important thing. You want to have fun with this. But if you are looking to get competitive and get serious about the game, uh, you really want to know what you're getting in, getting into and which characters you really want to work with. Uh, there's a lot of... That's one of the great things about this game. There's a lot of variability. Uh, there, are, there are characters that most people don't really spend too much attention on, but they can surprise you sometimes. So, yeah, don't be afraid to experiment either and you know explore just uh just just make sure you know what kind of player you are and what your goals are over the long term it is a game but at the same time like personally i, I like to be good at it so <laughs> even when i am playing casual so uh yeah just, just some friendly advice and and yeah so it, it might be difficult to really be able to do that in when you're first starting off uh, but once you get up into the mid and higher levels, you should get a better picture of where you want to go. And in the in your early levels, you're gonna get you're gonna level faster and you get lots of energy. Uh, I would you know suggest using as much of that energy as you, as you can each day. And sooner at some point you're gonna hit a level wall, and so you're not gonna get as much energy every day, uh, especially through leveling because you're not gonna level as fast. So at that point, you're going to want to balance between advancing through the battles, like like light and dark side and cantina and whatnot, and actually building your characters and squad, squads. So it's, you know, just like every, everything else, it, there's a bit of a balancing act there. Uh, it just depends on what you're trying to do with your, with your account, with your game, with your characters and, you know, your roster. And if you want to focus more on the PvE, or the PvP, uh, yeah, you just got to take all of that into account. So, well, recruit, you've successfully completed Noob Camp Week One. Stay tuned for Week Two when we get into the meat and potatoes of the hollow tables. Do you have what it takes to cut it in Rebel Squadron? Let's find out. I'll see you in the cantina recruit. This is Rebel Squadron out. Recruit dismissed for now.